Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how your smartphone can become the best smartphone camera available and you can use it as your main camera source or as a second camera for some weird use cases. Uh, so let's see which are the ingredients. So uh, we have uh, two softwares uh, which uh, works uh, with a USB cable. So also the speed and the latency of this uh, setup is very good. So the first software is a screen copy uh, from uh, Jenny Mobile and uh, it's free and it's uh, available on uh, GitHub. Uh, the installation could change uh, uh, accordingly uh, to your um, operative system in um, Linux, uh, it just need uh, a ADB uh, software installed in uh, your computer. But uh, I will link uh, the link um, of this project in the description. And uh, the second software is uh, Open Camera, which is a camera app, which is uh, from the uh, Play Store. And uh, this software is very convenient because uh, you can uh, remove uh, all the uh, unnecessary uh, items in the menu. So uh, let's try uh, to see how it works and it is uh, very easy to, to run. So this is uh, a Linux uh, terminal and I run screen copy. Okay, this is my smartphone and uh, I open open camera and uh, as you can see when uh, you don't touch uh, sorry as you can see uh, when you don't touch uh, the screen it is uh, um, full without uh, any kind of uh, uh, menus and uh, to enable the, this kind of feature you go to the uh, menu with the wheel and then uh, you go to the uh, int uh, interface uh, of the screen and uh, it's uh, immersive mode with uh, uh, hide all uh, setting uh, enable and uh, yeah you have the uh, full screen camera and uh, this is the, the best camera it's the back camera but uh, you could also use the front camera. So if you, if you uh, press here, you reverse the camera. So now we have uh, two cameras. But uh, the best one is uh, the camera you have in the back. So let's see. So I turn again and now we have the camera and um, yeah you could use the camera um, in a window like this or you also could use this kind of camera inside OBS and this kind of window uh, could become a, a screen and then you can use it where you need it and you also could uh, use OBS to generate uh, a virtual camera and uh, I did a video about it uh, in this video. So let's check this video if you want to transform uh, uh, your screen in a virtual webcam. It's very nice. And yeah, that's it. Uh, give me a like if you found this video useful and see you next time. Bye.